Hello students, welcome back. The question is for two marks and is from gate exam of IT branch 2004. Have a look at the statement. They are saying consider a simplified time slotted MAC protocol where each host always has data to send and transmits with probability P is equal to 0.2 in every slot. There is no back off and one frame can be transmitted in one slot. If more than one host transmits in the same slot, then the transmissions are unsuccessful due to collision. What is the maximum number of hosts which this protocol can support if each host has to be provided a minimum throughput of 0.16 frames per time slot? Okay. So they are saying each and every host has data to send always. Okay. So in each and every slot, each and every host is trying to send data. Any host can send data with a probability of 0.2. Okay. That means if we analyze only this first slot, in first slot, station number one can send its data with a probability 0.2. This one, station number two can also send data with a probability 0.2. So on each and every station can send data with the probability 0.2. Now if more than one station send data at the same time, there will be a collision. Let's find out the probability that no collision will occur. So probability of successful transmission. successful transmission or no collision is one and the same thing. So if no collision must occur, that means only one station is sending at a time. Let us see what is the probability of this event. Suppose only this station is sending at a time. The probability of station number one sending in some slot is 0.2. Okay. This is sending and and means multiply. This one is not sending. So probability of station number two not sending is one minus 0.2 and this one is not sending. So into 0.8 into 0.8 so on. This will be n minus one times. See out of n one station is sending and n minus one stations are not sending. So probability for each of them will be 0.8. That means I can simply write it. 2 into 0 0.8 raised to the power n minus 1. Okay. Now, other possibility is station number 2 is sending. Okay. Now, this station is sending the data and all of these n minus 1 stations are not sending. So, its probability will also be 0 0.2 into 0 0.8 raised to the power n minus 1. Okay. Similarly, for this station also, it will be same. For this one, this one, for each of the n stations, you will get the same expression. Okay. So overall probability that there will be a successful transmission will be this expression added to itself n times. That means n into this expression. Okay. So I'm erasing this part. So total probability is this. See, let me just use some other wording for this. A station can send data with probability 0.2. Okay. And that sending station can be chosen in n ways. Okay. So this one can send or this one or this one. So there are n stations out of which you can select one station nc1 which is n only. It can send with probability 0.2 and all of the n minus one stations are not sending. That is probability is equal to 0.8. Okay. So this is the probability of successful transmission. Okay. Now in question, they are saying that each and every station must have throughput is equal to 0 0.16. 0 0.16 is the throughput for one station. So throughput for n stations will be this multiplied by n. Okay. Now let me just equate this with this. Okay. Please allow me to do so. If you are not confused, then it's okay. 
बट इफ यू आर थिंकिंग हाउ इज दिस करेक्ट देन प्लीज अज्यूम दिस इज करेक्ट फॉर नाउ लेट अस फाइंड द आंसर देन आई गिव इट्स एक्सप्लेनेशन सो यू कैन सी वी कैन कैंसल एन विद एन ओके सो जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू इन टू दिस जीरो पॉइंट टू कैन बी ब्रॉट ऑन दिस साइड सो जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट टू विल बी जीरो पॉइंट एट ओनली दैट मीन्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस एक्सप्रेशन जीरो पॉइंट एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट रेस टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन जस्ट इक्वेट दीज एक्सपोनेंट्स बिकॉज बेसिस आर सेम सो यू कैन सी वैल्यू ऑफ एन विल बी टू ओके दे वर आस्किंग अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ स्टेशन यू कैन सपोर्ट अप टू टू स्टेशन आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू नाउ लेट सी हाउ कैन आई इक्वेट जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स एन विथ दिस ओके जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स एन दिस वॉज द थ्रू पुट दिस इज द प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेसफुल ट्रांसमिशन how can i equate this on most of the websites they don't provide any reasoning okay in most of the books also you will just see the solution they will equate both of them and no reasoning is given just focus for one minute from now you will understand it see if you have this doubt first thing is you haven't read the question carefully let me read it out for you once again the last line says a minimum throughput of 0.16 frames per time slot if you still have the doubt you haven't heard it carefully see this isn't throughput throughput has to be amount of data per unit time so this is not amount of data this is just a number multiplied by n okay so this can't be the throughput throughput has to be in bits per second or bytes per second or bytes per minute or amount of data in some unit of time it may be megabytes per minute okay anything here there is no such unit so it is under the throughput let me now once again read that line it is 0.16 frames per time slot they are clearly mentioning throughput which is 0.16 frames throughput according to the question is 0.16 frames in one time slot this is throughput of one station what is the total throughput just multiply it with number of stations that is n into 0.16 frames in one time slot okay this is throughput what is throughput actually throughput means how much data is successfully transferred in a time unit question says in one time unit or one time slot we can transfer this much data successfully okay see there is a possibility that in some communication system channel offers 100 mbps bandwidth okay but if you take into account the algorithms that are being used collisions retransmissions and lot of other factors it is a possibility that you are getting only 50 mbps okay in real world entire bandwidth can never be used okay efficiency is not equal to 1 always okay that means there is a possibility that the bandwidth may be reduced to some value this is called the throughput that means actually how much data is being transferred in a unit time that is throughput so in this case efficiency is 50% or 1 by 2 because we are using this channel up to 50% only okay so from this discussion you have found out throughput means how much data is successfully transferred in a time unit question says this much data is successfully transferred in a time unit by all of the stations now we have already found out the probability of successful transmission why don't we do one thing let us find out how much data can be successfully transferred in one time unit from here also okay find it from here equate it with this because this is also how much data is successfully transferred 
so probability of successful transmission is this much now successful transmission means only one station is sending data either this one is sending or this one is sending and so on okay the thing is only one station can send data so how much data will be sent one frame obviously okay this is the probability of successful transmission amount of data that is sent is one frame that means from here you can analyze that n into 0 0.2 into 0 0.8 raised to the power n minus 1 probability into the amount of data that is one frame successfully we can send this much data in one time slot okay that is found out from this and in question directly they have given that this much data can be sent in one time slot successfully so equate both of them if you equate them you can see frame and frame will get cancelled and this will be equal to this so that is what i have written initially 0.16n 0.16n is equal to this probability okay here also it is the same number so i hope you have just found out the reason of these two being equal anyways answer is two okay you have seen that okay